hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here and you're seeing me for the first time don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to all my old subscribers thank you for coming back to watch my videos in today's video we're going to talk about um what i do to grow my hair how i manage to keep my relaxed hair thick healthy and long and i get a lot of questions like i'm going to do a q and a ask, answering all your questions i get a lot of questions um asking me what i use on my hair i should give a detailed tutorial on everything i use on my hair and how my hair is not thinning how my relaxed hair is looking so thick and all that okay so in today's video i'm going to um narrow down everything and tell you guys what i do to keep my hair thick and healthy i'm going to tell you guys some of the supplements you can use and tell you guys if i actually use any supplements or not and the rest the first and most important reason why i think my hair still looks very thick even when i am relaxed is because i stretch my relaxers i cannot stress this enough like i can't stress this enough there was a time I used to relax my hair every two weeks because I felt that was the, the proper way and the best way to handle my hair. I didn't like the, I didn't even like to see any new growth on my hair. Like I was relaxing my hair every two weeks, and I can tell you that my hair looks healthier now. Ever since I started stretching my relaxers, and my hair has been growing non-stop. So stretching your relaxers is one of the best ways to make sure that your relaxed hair does not start thinning at the point because one thing i promise you is if you don't space out your relaxers and you keep relaxing your hair every single time you see new growth and the new growth is not even up to an inch or two inches you're going to over process your hair your relaxers will keep lapping and your hair will keep on breaking and you won't see any length to retain and at the end you keep having short hair from january to december all year round your hair looks the same your hair keeps breaking your hair keeps getting shorter and shorter so stretching your relaxers a little bit is a very good way to keep your relaxed hair in check now when i mean stretching your relaxers this is a whole topic on its own i make a video on this very soon but anything that is be below three months for me i don't consider it stretching at all in my own humble opinion respectfully if you don't stretch your relaxers up to three months and it works for you fine but if i know anyone and i, ha I have anyone around me that is relaxed i'm not going to allow that person to relax their hair if it's not up to three months personally i stretch my relaxers as long as six months eight months i've even gone a whole year without relaxing my hair and that is my personal choice i just relax my hair to make sure that i keep my hair manageable okay i'm not relaxing my hair to over process and spoil my hair entirely so the normal time i stretch my relaxers is six months I've tried going four months before and my hair did not accept it at all and I'm not going to do that again. So six months is the minimum time I stretch my relaxers. And this particular month, this particular year right now, I've relaxed my hair only once and my next relaxer is going to be December. That's going to be like my ninth month um, post relaxer, eight to nine months post relaxer. And to me, that is just fine and yeah this is it about the relaxer and about the relaxer that i use on my hair i use ors relaxers i normally used to use the no lie relaxer before but for my last relaxer i tried the lie relaxer and i experienced a lot of shedding afterwards because i think it is because i used the extra strength the extra strength was probably too strong for my hair okay so i didn't like how i didn't like the outcome at all and it burnt my scalp even though i did all the prep that i normally do before i relax my hair it burnt my scalp so i'm not going to use that particular ors light relaxer again but if i have to use a light relaxer again i'll probably go for the normal or let's say the medium strength i'm not go for the extra strength anymore but yeah that's it for my um relaxer and now there is a lot of relaxers that you can use a firm um 
Hawaii Silky Relaxer. There are a lot of new relaxers that I've seen that you can use on your hair. But in Nigeria here, getting ORS is much more easier for us to get over here. So I use ORS. I should just watch out and wait till I relax my hair in December. That's when I'm going to do a new length check. So we're going to see how long my hair has grown in its to nine months. Okay, keeping my ends tucked in. Now, as you can see, my hair is in a bond right now and my ends are not sticking out. I've tucked my ends in. Even though this is not my go to, my go -to um, protective style, I'm going, to, I'm going out sometime today and I just decided to throw my hair up in a bun to look normal. But when I come back home, I just section my hair into four parts or into two parts and weave it or twist it or braid it. And then I curl my hair with my hair bonnet and that's it. I don't let my hair out to, you know, I don't allow my hair to rub on every single surface or the wall or anything. And this is also one of the things that has helped me keep my hair in proper condition and keep my hair in check. And the next thing I want to talk about is the hair products that I use. Now, um, for oiling my scalp and oiling my hair entirely, I normally use my Ayurvedic hair oil that I make myself. I use my rosemary oil. I have videos on how I've made these two oils on this channel in case you're wondering. And I also sell um, my oils as well. This is my rosemary hair spray. I always keep this beside me. Just make sure you just bottle it up and keep it in your fridge. Anytime you want to use it, just get it out of the fridge and spray on your hair and you're good to go. Now the leave-in conditioner that I use is my mega good leave-in conditioner. I think um, I normally show this product a lot on my channel. It is very affordable and it does the job for me. And yeah, in case you don't have a lot of money to spend buying expensive hair products, this is a very affordable product that I can swear by. This works perfectly. And for my dandruff and itchy scalp, I normally use peppermint oil, which I don't have at this point. I've, I don't have peppermint oil at this point. I've exhausted the one I have. I also use my sulfur 8 um, medicated anti-dandruff hair and scalp conditioner. This is what it looks like. So this normally helps me suit my scalp and as well as the peppermint oil. I just massage peppermint oil to my scalp. Anytime I feel my scalp is becoming itchy, I massage peppermint oil on my scalp. Now the shampoo that I use is the ORS Aloe Shampoo and I have another shampoo that I use. I may insert the clip somewhere here. Okay guys, I just rushed in to get the other shampoo that I use. This is my Nature's Gentle Touch. Um, shampoo I don't know why it's not focusing but okay this is what it looks like um, this is a moisturizing shampoo since the ORA shampoo is a clarifying shampoo I don't use it every single uh, week because I wash my hair once a week if it's out and not in a protective style I do a weekly wash day and um, this is the moisturizing conditioner this is the one that I tend to use mostly every week I use the clarifying shampoo maybe once in in a month or once in three weeks like I don't use that all the time and yeah this is another affordable product that you can just buy and use this is so nice it smells good and it doesn't leave my scalp dry is moisturizing like personally I love this product now for my deep conditioning treatment um my deep conditioning treatments, I use the Mega Growth as well. I use both the Mega Growth Living Conditioner and the Mega Growth um, Deep Conditioner. Now, make sure you deep condition your hair every week. Every single week you wash your hair, make sure you deep condition your hair. Honestly, this size is not even enough. I normally get the biggest size of this Mega Growth, but I had to pick this up quickly because I didn't have anyone to use for my wash day that I just did yesterday. So, this is an affordable product that is very nice i trust me mega good deep, deep conditioner is very nice is what it looks like and it smells amazing as well so this is the deep conditioner that i use and another thing that i also use to deep condition my hair is the ORS hair maintenance this is what it looks like i don't use this particular one every single week i tend to use this more weekly but most of the time i mix both of them together like i mix this and this in a bowl and 
use on my hair but i mostly use this whenever i use my clarifying shampoo maybe once in two weeks once in three weeks i use this but weekly basis this is what i use and let me show you guys what this one looks like inside it's almost finished this is what it looks like i pampered this one a lot this one was much more expensive this is about four thousand over four thousand naira i don't know how much it is in dollars but this was one thousand naira 900 to one thousand naira. this is like over four thousand naira I use way more products on my hair actually but these ones i showed you right now are the common ones that i use since i'm a hair youtuber and i post more videos on things you should use on your hair i tend to use a lot of things on my hair okay i have a whole lot of things to show you guys and if i start showing you guys this video is going to be super long but these ones are very okay and essential these are the things you need to start with if you want to start your healthy hair growth journey now the fourth thing i normally do to keep my hair healthy and thick is heat protectant staying away from heat at this point up until now i've only straightened my hair twice this year and that was when i relaxed my hair and a month after i relaxed my hair and i'm not putting heat on this hair again until december now if you must put heat on your hair frequently i suggest you invest in a heat protectant i i don't know i don't have heat protectant right now i ran out of the ones i had because i've not been straightening my hair and I just left it, I didn't buy any one, but the Tresme heat protectant that I saw recently was about 4,000 naira, 4,005. Um, Care Silky Wrap heat protectant is also very nice, but that one is more expensive, it's about 8,000 naira. So if you must put heat on your hair frequently or all the time, make sure you have a heat protectant, okay? If you are in Nigeria especially and you want to straighten your hair, don't allow anybody to go in with any hair grease any hair grease that looks like this because most of the time i see them applying this and then they will go ahead and straighten your hair and you can feel you can hear the sound of your hair burning i'm i'm a living testimony okay i can testify to this and it is not something you want to experience if you don't have any of these don't bother straightening your hair for your own safety if you actually want to keep your hair in a healthy state and the final thing i'm going to talk about is the supplements that um most people use on their hair personally i have not tried using any supplements on my hair and i would love to try i was actually i've actually listed down some of the supplements that i actually want to get for my hair like um biotin i had the liquid biotin um works perfectly it grows your hair faster i am yet to test that i have never tried any supplement but i'm going to list some of the supplements that i know um the biotin supplements especially the liquid biotin i had it works faster then msm powder okay for the msm i use i think i use the msm powder in my hair products like in my hair oil that i sell i infuse msm powder into this but i don't ingest the msm powder i would love to try that later but i've not tried it as of now then another thing is collagen collagen i see some people using collagen i've been people have recommended collagen to me and another thing is vitamin c I think the 1000 milligram vitamin C as well. If you want to invest in something like that, it's something you can try. It's not going to help you grow your hair alone. It also contributes to the general health of your body, like your skin and other things. Okay. So this um biotin, MSM, collagen, vitamin C, and also the nails and hair gummies that I normally see everywhere. I think if I'm going to start um, with any hair supplement, I'm going to start with that one because it also has biotin inside and some other nutrients inside. So if I'm going to ever use supplements on my hair, I'm going to tell you guys on this channel and we're going to review it together. So yeah, this is basically it for this video. I think I've spoken a lot. There are a lot of things that I've done to this hair to make sure I keep it thick and healthy. But these are the, these things that I mentioned in this video are very, very important. And these are things you can start with. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.